Hello everybody, I am the doll and welcome to my Nerd Slayer. Today I am going to review the third episode of Season 3 of Game of Thrones, Walk of Punishment. And it gets a big double thumbs up from me. I think it advanced the plot very well, I think there were some wonderful performances, and also we get a bit of mythology that is prevalent in the books but has only been a little bit hinted at lately in the show. Um, first of all, the performance of the ward for uh, the performance of the week award has to go to Nikolai Koster-Waldau as Jamie Lannister. As most of you know by now, spoilers, he gets his right hand cut off. And it's one of those episodes, much like Sleep Tight, for those of you who are fans of Angel and many other episodes of television, even though everything that came before it is great, the minute you see him get his hand cut off, that's the thing that you know is going to be a driving force in the story. That's what's going to advance this show forward and advance this character forward and define this character for all the rest of the show. Um, Jamie Lannister has been an arrogant, violent, horrible person pretty much from the word go. And, you know, he's shown his good side here and there. Like, in this episode even, he talks... Uh, their captor out of letting his men rape Brienne of Tarth, and you know that there's a good person in there someplace, or at least an able individual, and getting his hand cut off was probably the best thing for him as a person, I hate to say that, but it's also going to bring us to some great places in his character, hopefully. Um, so, great performance, a great moment, love the song at the end too, um, I'm glad that they didn't really I'm glad that they don't really have a lot of pop songs playing throughout the show. Some series that some series that take place in the past do that, and you get mixed results a lot of the time. Xena Warrior Princess is what I'm thinking of here. Much as I love that show, the pop songs didn't always work. Um, so yeah, that was a great moment. Um, one thing that I found very interesting about the Catelyn side of it was finding out how many morons are in her family. She's always seemed like such a strong person, such a loving person, such an able person, but you find out that she grew up with these... these incompetence as people, and I don't just mean that the brother is incompetent because he can't shoot an arrow. He's incompetent because he doesn't listen, he seems very rude, he does not realize what's going on her, around him. Um, we all saw Lysa, uh, Catelyn's sister last season, and she's nuts. Um, I do not know where Catelyn got what she needed in order to become the strong person that she is, but um, anyway, seeing her family is just, it makes you go, ugh, who are these people? Um, anyway, but Michelle Farley, again, she was wonderful, particularly the scene with Blackfish Tully, uh, where she talks about Bran and Rickon. Um, you know, it's heartbreaking hearing her talk about them, and if you know what's going to come, uh, it's all the more sad, but I won't spoil it for the people who are not reading the books or reading the spoilers online. Um, one part that got a little bit more advanced as well was Arya with the Brotherhood. Again, this was an episode that, um, unlike, unlike episode two, tried to advance the plot a bit more. We don't take as much time just to see the characters interacting or just to see what their personalities are, are like or their backstories. Um, Although one great moment came in the Danny side of it. It was when she was speaking with Sir Jorah and Sir Beristan about her brother. Those of you who know the story of Rhaegar Targaryen, you know that he is very prevalent in the mythology of this show, but he was dead to begin with. And hearing her say, I wish I'd known him, but he was not the last dragon, it's a good moment for her, but it's also a reference to a lot of things that are going to come. And the show is so good at sticking things in that tell you what's what's in the cards, gives you a clue to all of the questions that are unanswered. But it doesn't take you out of the present story. It's still a good character moment for Danny and for what she needs to go through right then. Um, overall, it was a great episode. Um, I'm glad that they advanced the plot a little bit more. There were a couple of characters missing that I would have loved to have seen. You know, I would have liked to see a little bit more Tyrion, even though that joke with Podrick is funny. You know, we want copious details after he's been with all these whores. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's 
It was good. Um, the scene at the beginning where uh, Circe and Tyrion and Varys and Littlefinger meet with Tywin as the Hand was good. You kind of see how they all react to him and what the dynamic is going to be between them. Um, and again, the Brienne and Jaime storyline, those were probably the best moments of this episode by far. Yeah, great episode. Props to the show, props to the actors. Um, I'm the doll, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and feel free to subscribe. Thank you very much.